Today we'll be going over how to step by step achieve these music video effects here in Final Cut Pro. In my opinion, you will need these in your workflow if you are a music video editor. I've been a video editor for five years now and I'm gonna teach you all that I know within my experience and I'm gonna be doing that throughout my entire channel. So if you're interested in any of that, consider subscribing. And here on the screen is our website, www.b3-studios.com where you can find plenty, plenty of Final Cut Pro plugins. Some are free and uh, some of course you have to pay for, but all in all, they will help and enhance your Final Cut Pro workflow. Now let's get right on into the video for today. Okay, so for our first effect, we have um, the glitch effect. And what you have to keep in mind here is that you want this shot on a tripod and you want a clear background. The background has to be solid. It has solid color like white or black or just make sure the background is a solid color. So what we're gonna do here is we are going to simply, um, this is our clip here. And we are just gonna simply uh, duplicate this clip. So hold option and drag up on the clip and that will create a duplicate. And now what we wanna do here is we want to go two frames into our clip. So one, two, and then cut this off right here and delete the rest of this clip right here. And now, what we want to do is we want to go over here to our mask and our effects panel here. We want to go to mask and king and we are going to add a shape mask here. So we're just going to drag this on our top clip. Now we are going to apply this on the space where little Yachty is here, right here on the right. So he is moving a bit, so I wanna give this a little bit more space and more room. Widen this up a bit, like about right here. All right, let's see, okay, let's see. Widen this up a bit more about right here. Okay, I think that's perfect right here. Now we're just gonna we're gonna disable this clip V right here just so we can see our clip. So I think that's good right there. We got little Yachty in the frame, um, and that's all we need. So we can undisable this, press V again. Now we can uh, duplicate this top clip. So option, drag to the side gonna create duplicates and we're just gonna keep creating these duplicates to get that stutter effect. So now that we have this, a couple of these, let's see how this looks so far. Nice. Now to switch it up a little bit more, we're gonna drag this I'm gonna create a duplicate of this one more time. And we can just drag this out just to see what other frame we would want to kind of mix into our footage. So let's just say, let's just say I want this where he's touching his head. One, two, and then one, two. So let's go back two frames and we're gonna cut. One, two, and then cut. Now we can delete this and delete this. Let's bring this back to the front here and create duplicates again. Keep creating duplicates until you feel that the effect is enough. Now let's just play this back just for time's sake. See, that's the effect right there. Very powerful effect. 
you can repeat this as long as you want and that is the first effect okay for our next effect the very simple effect i'm going to leave the link for this in the description so once you download this effect it will be under b3 sphere security cam and we're just gonna place this on our clip here and right now the radius is small so that's why the circle is small i'm gonna boost that up i'm gonna cut off this half tone that's making this gray and white right here right and here we can navigate from the x axis and the y axis so we're going to bring this over here to travis scott right here and we're just going to play this really fast so it's a kind of cool sphere security cam effect so we're going to manipulate this and make this effect a lot more appealing so i'm just going to make a duplicate of this. So I'm just gonna hold option down and drag up. And with this duplicate, I'm just gonna move this along the side here. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create kind of some keyframes here. So I'm just gonna add a keyframe right here at the beginning of the playhead. And as we move, we're just gonna move this up a little bit. And for this one, we can add a keyframe. Actually, we're just gonna keep this still. We're just gonna add a transition to this, right? So we're just gonna go to dissolves, cross dissolve, add this transition to the front of the end. So it'll look like it came in in a cool way. So now let's play this back. Pretty cool right here. And we can switch it up even more. We can add another duplicate to this. We can decrease the size of this other duplicate right here. So we're gonna go to scale, reduce the size here. Make it come to the middle a little bit. Kind of bring it down here. And we're gonna give this a uh, transition as well. Open it up a little bit. Open this up, I'm gonna make it fade. We're just gonna make this stretch longer. And let's see how this looks. Really like that. Like I said, guys, you guys can move this around as much as you want. You can add keyframes. And guys, you can just take your time with this. So our next effect is the alter time effect. I've already added it, so I'm just gonna add it again. So pretty much what we're looking for here. So I'm gonna leave a link for this in the description as well. This is the alter time effect. So I'm gonna add some keyframes to this. I'm gonna show you how the effect looks. So it's just basically like a slow shutter alter time effect. But we wanna make this show gradually. So we're gonna put all of these parameters down and we're gonna have our keyframes set. And we're gonna, towards the middle of this scene, bring these parameters up so the effect can start. So it'll be even a better kind of look and better effect. And let's test this out, nice. Slow shutter effect is really good right there. And to kind of make this more dynamic, we're gonna add a flash transition adjustment layer. I'm gonna leave a link for this adjustment layer 
in the description. It is free on our website, so go download that. And what I'm gonna do here for our flash transition is just get it in between these clips and come over here to color corrections. And we're gonna go to color curves. And what we're gonna do here is on this Luma white line right here, we're just gonna push this all the way to the left side so it's completely white. And this is gonna be our flash transition. So when we go back to the start of the clip, you can see how that transitions very well. So that's a two-on-one combo. Here's the B3 Alter Time effect right here, mixed in with a flash transition. So that is that effect. Now let's move on. Our next effect is gonna be a cinematic slow zoom. And I'm gonna show you two ways to do this. One way is a paid version, which is a plugin, and another way is for free. So you can decide which way you want to um, implement this. So uh, I'm gonna leave a link for this in the description as well. This will be under your titles once you download it. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna stretch this to the length of the clip. And I'm gonna come here and in my zoom amount, I'm just gonna go to the end to see how far I want to actually zoom. So I'm gonna zoom in about right here. So when we start our clip, when we go to the beginning of our playhead, it's gonna be a slow, dramatic, cinematic zoom which is very, very impactful for music videos and other scenarios as well. And if you wanna speed this up a little bit, it just depends on how much you just wanna zoom. So if I zoomed in like a ton right here, and I went up on the Y a little bit, it's gonna be zooming in a lot faster. And guys, you can do this without this plugin, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So um, this is just an easier way to do it. So I'm just gonna erase this plugin or delete that. And this is the manual way to do it. So you can add a keyframe to the scale here and then go towards the end of the video and just zoom in here and Go back to the beginning of the playhead and you can achieve the same thing. I just use the plugin because it's just really simpler and it gives you, uh, you know, more control quicker. But it's definitely up to you guys if you want to use this manual way or the cinematic zoom. All right, guys, I hope you learned something new. Um, and if you didn't learn anything new, I hope I could have added something to your toolkit in Final Cut Pro. That's it for today, guys. And um, please feel free to comment below if you want to see any more effects. Or if you have any questions about anything, please feel free to engage with the channel. Um, go check out our website, www.b3-studios.com. The link is in the description. And I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much. All right, bye.